Hey guys, it's Kevin. If you have an I O eighteen hundred printer doesn't start, you need to check the transistor first. I'm going to put a link above. However, if your transistor is okay, but uh, the printer still still not turning on, you might want to check the Q F six o one. Hey guys, it's Abby here. We are going to be replacing the Q F six o one transistor. You see, I've plugged in the machine and I turned the power button on in the back, the power switch in the back. I have set my hot plate, which is the far left side. I've flipped that switch on and pressed the blue button. So it will be powering up to 200 degrees. I, power, I fast forwarded this part, so it took about three minutes for it to heat up, which is pretty fast. We're going to let that heat up. All my other switches are still off, so you just see the soldering heats up a little bit, but I don't use that solder gun. Um, so here's the three minutes is up that it heats up. So I'm going to show you. I'm working with an L1800 main board here. We took the QF601 um, transistor off for another board to use. So here's why it's off and I'm going to be replacing it. So that's where it would be placed on the board. Here's what a QF601 transistor would look like if it was brand spanking new. And I would be taking it out to replace on a board that we would have here or a repair board that I'd be working on. It's not the smallest component or transistor fuse that I'd be working with, but it's still pretty small, so you don't want to lose it. Here's what it looks up I, up close. And here I'll show you the main board where I'd be placing it. So again, we can see that's where the transistor looks like, where it would go on the board. And I want to protect my board for when it goes on to the reworking station because there is some high heat. We have our our heating board under there, like our, our one that we set to 200. We're going to have our high heat that's going to actually solder on our transistor onto the board. And so when it does heat up, it can loosen up other components and stuff on the board. And I don't want any of my board to get fried or damaged anyway so i really just want to focus my heat in the one area okie dokie now next we're going to use this soldering paste it has a melting point of 138 degrees celsius and i have a needle on the end of my soldering paste so i can squeeze a bit out i'm just going to tap it along the silver areas where I need to put my transistor. I do not need a buttload ton of soldering paste. I'll just move my board around a little bit and tap my needle on there so I can see that I have that gray, gritty, silver, sparkly soldering paste to be on there enough to melt and to hold on to the transistor. So once I have my soldering paste under that's where i'm going to use my tweezers um, and i'm going to put my transistor on top of the soldering paste um, i just took one off and i'm replacing it again with a brand new one that's working this machine comes a clamp that holds the board up a bit so it doesn't always sit right on the hot plate also if the board can get a little bit hot so you can hold these metal tongs-ish sort of things at the end, but it does go in and out depending on how big your board is, if you want your board to sit right down in there. But with this L1800, it has to sit a little bit on top just because of the transistors in the back. I set it on top, and I'm going to move this heating lamp over it. And I'll move, the, move it down a bit. Use eye protection here. I use eye protection, put this um, screen down, this protective screen, put your protective eye gear on, and we'll flip this high light on, um, and it's going to put a high beam onto the QF601 that I just placed, and this light itself goes on for about seven seconds, and then it cuts off, and if you do not turn that switch off, on the second middle area, it will go back on. It cuts off for about three or four seconds, goes back on. So when that seven seconds is off, cut it off if you want to take your board off and not worry about that light coming back on. Here I am, I'm taking my tin foil off and we're gonna look and see it's stuck on there really nice. I can hit it with the tweezers and it's not gonna pop off. And we have a new transistor in our QF601 spot. So now I'm turning off all of my 
on switches in the front and before I turn the back switch off I'm gonna let hot plate to come back down in temperature before I turn off the whole thing and now here I'm just wanting to test out my main board to make sure that it actually is going to work. I did use my multimeter to test everything a little bit as it just run, but I still would love to test to make sure that the L1800 printer is actually gonna come on. We screwed the main board in, and now I sped this part up for y'all, but I plugged in all the cables in the back, getting all the FFC cables in place, and then we will power on the printer to check. Okay, plug the USB in and the power cable, put the power switch on in the back, and we'll put the power on in the front. And I hear it power up, and I see that the carriage goes back and forth, and the sounds everything sounds good. We hope you enjoyed this video. You can find more of us at bchtechnologies.com, and you can visit us here locally in Greensboro, North Carolina. Happy printing, everyone!